clients are certainly interested in them. Um, they have had international and universal acceptance. I think because governments are having to re-examine their policies and their legal frameworks, there will inevitably be some legal change going forward. And also because they have been internationally accepted and included in many international standards, as you say, that's a form of soft law. And so behaviour starts to change in a particular way. And because corporations are very much recognising their responsibilities, it's being articulated in legal relationships, in contractual relationships, through supply chains or whatever, or in transactional contexts. So that gradually there's a, a, a increasing legal issues building up around that as, as the uh, what are not legal obligations become incorporated into legal relationships. Mm -hmm. Also, in addition to that, um, it starts to make business sense, particularly for law firms, to have to start, because of the grand swell of other corporates, there's something in the region of about 300 international, multinational firms who are already endorsing the human rights and have got their own um, human rights uh, policies mm -hmm. statements. Um, so actually it makes good business sense for law firms to start thinking about it and it, it won't be long before they have to.